Welcome to a quick tutorial on how to add an assignment to Google Classroom and what the different types of assignment types are and how they look for the student as well as for you, the teacher. Now I'm going to split this uh, little tutorial into multiple parts, so stick with it and take a look with me. First of all, one of the things that I do, obviously if I'm here in Classroom, I'm going to hover on the plus sign. I'm going to go to click create an assignment. Before I do that, however, notice I've got a couple of sample assignments already in here. One of the tips that I would share with you, while this is not absolutely necessary, I find that this helps me in terms of organization, is I will give a numeric value to my assignments. I might be more verbose and say like chapter one, assignment one, or I might say unit one, um, that kind of thing. There are other organizational tips that I'm going to share with you super quick. Um, in, in a couple more videos, but I would always advocate that you organize your assignments in terms of um, giving them a numeric value. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hover on this, click on create an assignment, and I'm going to do 1.3. Um, and of course, these are very silly little questions. And I'm going to put in my uh, instructions here that this is an open-ended assignment. And I'm only putting this in there for you as teachers. I probably wouldn't do this, obviously, uh, for a student. I'd probably put true instructions in there, but I want to make it a point here that I'm, I'm send, sending excuse me, an assignment to my students that's going to be very open-ended. And you're going to see what I mean by that here in a moment. Um, you know, there's all sorts of little tips and tricks here, but I'm going to just get right to it. I'm going to click on assign. Now, um, I, I've got my where is France here. I'm going to move this screen out of the way. That's me as a teacher. Now, here I am as a student. I need to reload the page only because I'm logged in simultaneously. And here I am as a student. What I want to do here as a student is give you a viewpoint of what the kids are going to see. Um, the first thing I can see that I've got some stuff. I've got one here that's not done. I've got one here that's returned. I've got this one that's not done. Um, so now what I'm going to do in order to complete this assignment, I'm going to click on open. And this is what I meant before about this being an open-ended assignment. Let me slide the teacher back in here for one moment. I'm going to click on uh, my edit here. Again, remember that I didn't add any kind of attachment, anything from the drive. I didn't do any Google, YouTubes. I didn't do any hyperlinks, right? So what that results in is over here from the, te from the student side, as a student, I can actually choose any kind of mechanism I want to answer this question. If I click on add, I can add something that I've already created. I could add a hyperlink. I could add uh, a file. I could add a, a something from my Google Drive, right? Or I can pop over here and create. So from an open-ended question type, you might want to tell your students, hey, you must do this as part of a Google slide, or you must do this as a drawing, or you must do this as a doc, or you might say to them, I want you to add a hyperlink or add a file or add something from your drive, whatever you choose to do. But note that in these open-ended exercises, they have free reign on what they're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and click on Create and Slides. And what that's going to do for me is it's going to actually create uh, a slide piece for me. And now I can click on this and I can... Um, Kind of a goofy little ex exercise, but um, I hope you understand the point. Um, now I'm going to close that assignment, and here I am back at my screen, but perhaps I had to work a few days on that assignment. So now I'm going to pretend that I've logged right back into Classroom, and I am ready. I've done my assignment. I have, you know, toiled over doing that. What do I need to do to submit it to my teacher? I'm going to go ahead and click on Open. And if I am totally done with assi this assignment, I can now go ahead and click on Turn In. And it's going to say one attachment will be submitted. And I'm going to click on Turn In. I, as a student, do have the option to unsubmit. But we're going to presume I did that intentionally. So now I'm going to come back over here as a teacher. And notice under the assignment, Where is France? I've now got one that shows as done. So now what I can do is I can click on the assignment and it's showing me one is done and here is Albert's work. I can click on that and I can see, yep, there's the uh, answer. 
I'm not going to, in this tutorial, go through how to comment and how to be interactive with your students. We'll save that for another day. But I am going to go ahead and get a, give a grade here. And let's imagine that I think that that is the world's best answer. And so now I'm going to return that to my student. I can also add a private comment. I can return it. Now let's go see what it looks like on this student side here. I'm going to actually back out of this. Okay. Now it, the screen has not refreshed, but I can see that I had done the work. I'm going to go ahead and uh, manually refresh this screen and voila, I can now see that my teacher has returned this assignment to me. If I click on open here or if I click on open on the hyperlink, in either case, it's going to bring me to this location where I can look at my work. And more importantly, right across the top here, I can see how many points I earned out of how many points. So this is a very quick tutorial on how to set up an open-ended assignment, assign it to your students from the student perspective on how to answer the question and how as a teacher, you know it's answered and then grade it and return it to them. Um, in our next tutorial, we're going to talk a little bit of, of different types of assignments and how to grade them. So I uh, hope to see you soon.